Fine. Hey, here's Steve Morris Engines. I'm Steve. This is an engine right here that we just got done with for Church Boys Racing out of Ohio. Uh, now this is a 427 cubic inch LS base motor. This has a, a Dart a LS3 cylinder heads on it, our rotating package, camshaft, hydraulic roller, all that normal good stuff. So this is a pretty common package for us, full accessory drive. Um, obviously we don't have the accessories hooked up because otherwise they're just running empty. Um, 2.9 Whipple, uh, this one happens to have Holly EFI on it and the particular mode for this is to be run on pump gas. So they want it on pump gas but we are going to also do a race gas tune-up and what I wanted to also show you is our new bell for the 2.9 and 3.0 Whipples. Uh, so we're going to do a pump gas test, which is exactly the way they want to run it at. And then we will do everything all staying the same. Then we'll do a different tune for um, race gas with no bell. And then we're going to not change anything. Everything stays exactly the same. Uh, put the bell on it and make another pull and then show you all the numbers on that. So we'll set the camera down here. We'll go out and we'll make a pull on this thing. And I'll start showing you numbers. All right, so just got done with the pull there on pump gas. And as you can see right here, 992 is 6,100. So it kind of comes up here. Um, not too worried about this. It's a um, natural place where it would start to lay over a little bit. And we have a bunch of timing on it. But, you know, we just sort of want to make this really safe. They did not want to make a, a thousand horsepower. They wanted it to be under a thousand horsepower tune on pump gas which is, you know, that's where we're at. Uh, we could take some more timing out of it and, you know, tame this down even more, but this is a nice, good, safe spot. Low timing uh, boost we can take a look at here real quick is doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, 14 and a half pounds of boost right there. Uh, everything looks real good. Oil pressure is good. Fuel pressure is excellent. Um, that's a nice looking graph. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in there, or I'm sorry, we're going to do, we're going to change fuel. So we're going to put it on C16 and then we'll just change uh, tune-up information here. Uh, basically we're adding timing and leaning it up some. So we can do, uh, do that when we go from pump gas to uh, race gas. So we're going to run it on C16 so it's plenty safe fuel. Uh, actually it's a super safe fuel for this kind of combination. Uh, best way of keeping things to, to not have any issues or problems. So we're going to come in there. We're going to add a bunch of timing to it, add, uh, lean it up some, and uh, we'll probably put uh, about how much timing are we going to add, add to it? 32, 33. From? Mm, 29. This is 24. No, I thought it was like 24. 24. I'm pump gas, yeah, 24. 24. So we're adding, yeah. we're going to add probably about five, six degrees of timing to it. Um, we'll probably, uh, We'll do a little bit of tuning in between. I'm not going to bore you to death watching pulls and watching us do tuning on it. But that's just kind of giving you a general number where it's going to be. And we'll probably lean it up like by 0.2 or 3. So anyways, we'll go in there. I'm going to uh, change fuel or have Kyle change fuel. And uh, uh, we'll just make another hit on this thing. All right, now, uh, so that is our um, race gas tune. Uh, so you can see up here, that is with C16, no bell. And just like it is right there. Um, this thing is picked up just with tune. So timing, fuel, a little bit of lean, lean up on it. 
and uh, picks up almost 100 horsepower and uh, kind of smooths out up here because like I said, we're putting that timing and keeping timing in it. Uh, 1,001 foot-pounds of torque at 4,100, way down low, and uh, uh, 1087 in horsepower. So obviously the boost is gonna be the same because we didn't change anything there. Uh, so pretty normal looking deal. Uh, I think that's good. Uh, now for the uh, bell. So we're gonna put the bell on and you'll see me, I'll just go in there and I'll put this bell on there real quick and then we'll come out and make another pull. All right, cool. So uh, that is obviously with the bell, C16 and uh, 1117 at 6,300, uh, 1021 foot-pounds of torque. So kind of move stuff up. And like I said, we left everything exactly the same, did not change the tune. So it's just a direct AB comparison. And uh, give you, uh, we'll show previous run here. And you can see this uh, uh, yellowish line right here was our no bell with c16 and this red line is our c16 with bell so that's a that's a pretty stellar or pretty nice improvement uh and that our bells are a billet i mean they're not some uh you know stamped aluminum piece of crap so that is a full-on billet bell uh clamps on uh real easy setup to do uh just take a filter off with the bell on it and then vice versa but uh, yeah, you're looking at, uh, let's see here if we can do a comparison. But anyways, we're at right here. Yeah, that's actually uh, 41 horsepower pickup right here uh, at 5,500, 6,000. It is a 22 horsepower pickup, 6,500. It is 15 and, and 13 would be uh, 28. Uh, horsepower pickup so that, that's some pretty nice numbers through there that's a nice pickup on the bell uh, if you're interested in those bells you can check us out on the website uh, go look on it we should have the up on the website if not uh, you can give us a call and ask how much those are but this is a really nice solid combination uh, real typical setup for us in uh, this LS platform so anyways real good deal I'm sure Church Boys Racing is going to en uh, enjoy this motor and it's going to work out real good for whoever customer they're putting it in so I am Steve Morris, Steve Morris Engines. Have a great day.